super slow motion shot. But the issue here is I do not have an expensive camera to do this. So what if I told you guys that you can do all those things with your existing camera with just one simple trick on DaVinci Resolve. For those who don't know, if you guys are new here, I'm Fenzer. I do travel tech and filmmaking on this channel. So if you're into that sort of stuff, please consider hitting the subscribe button. So let's dive into DaVinci Resolve to show you how it's done. So this is the video that we want to create that super slow motion effect. So this is the shot that we have and as you can see it doesn't look very nice. So now let's slow this down. So I'm going to slow it down to 10% so I know it's pretty slow. But then if I play it right now you can see that it's very choppy because it doesn't have that many frames to make it slow. Even though it was shot at 120 frames per second I can maybe slow it down to 20% to get a nice buttery slow motion. But to create that ultra slow motion, uh, I want to slow it further to like 10%. So now not all cameras can even shoot 120 frames per second. Maximum it can go to 60 frames per second. So it's really nice to have this feature on DaVinci Resolve and it's available on the free version as well. So for that what I have to do is come to inspector, come down and there is something called retime and scaling. Change the retime process to optical flow and then motion estimation to enhanced better if you have the free version and if you have the paid version of DaVinci Resolve you can go to speed warp. Now this setting can take a lot of power from your computer so you can just disable it uh, and maybe enable it once your edit is complete. You get this nice buttery smooth slow motion. Now you can apply this technique to any such shot uh, which is not shot at a higher frame rate to get that really nice super slow motion. If you want to watch other tutorials on DaVinci, I will leave the playlist link right below in my description. So check it out. So I really hope you guys found this video really helpful and uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.